Okay, you'll hate me for this, but the personal finance expert that you follow keenly on YouTube shouldn't be trusted. They're not always right, and most of them have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. Yes, they started poor and lived in their parents' basement for years and until they got their breakthrough at some point, or so they claim. And now, all these years later, they're seasoned experts on all matters of money. So somehow, following their advice will get you out of debt and help you become super rich. But will they? Does their advice work? How can they predict markets when the real financial analysts haven't been able to give accurate predictions of the national and world markets all these years? I used to be a great Graham Stephan fan. You'd have thought we were best friends with how high the pedestal I placed him on, but then this bromance turned sour fast. After a good number of years of Graham Stephan offering great investment advice, often on real estate, as he did well and came out as a more realistic real estate investment YouTuber, as his advice weighed more on the real side of investments, slow, solid, and steady, and also buying and selling at the right time. When he started a few years ago into this whole YouTube thing, Graham Stephan was dishing good advice on the important stuff, like getting out of debt, living below your means. Graham isn't a spender and he's quite a thrifty guy. Avoiding lifestyle inflation, timing the market, thinking outside the box, and just smart investing and money management. Graham Stephan's content from three plus years ago was efficient content, as he offered advice on things like taxes and Roth IRAs, retirement planning, tips for buying a rental property, for example, or advice on how to stay the course when investing, and always investing constantly in the up markets and the down markets to enjoy the benefits of compounding interests. He was not your run-of-the-mill personal finance YouTuber sharing the best-kept secrets on how to beat the market. He was a guy who understood what it took for an ordinary person to build wealth. Another hard-working guy whose decisions and focus led him to the path to riches. His advice was quite heavy on real estate investing, which makes sense because he's been in real estate for a very long time, and that's where he made most of his money, both as a real estate agent who worked for and with the Oppenheim Group famous for the Netflix TV series Selling Sunset, and as a real estate investor. Somewhere along the way, however, Graham Stephan changed tune and became like the other generic personal finance influencers and YouTubers. Right now, he's not only regurgitating the same old kind of reactionary and predictive finance content, often offering no advice at all, but he's now gotten so much more clickbaity. His titles are meant to drive traffic to the channel, even though what he talks about may not even be good advice. Most of it's made up and not based on his experience. Today, most of Graham Stephan's YouTube videos will have titles like The Best 5 Ways to Get Rich or Why You Will Regret Buying Stocks in 2022 or something like How to Retire in 10 Years, Starting with Zero Dollars for someone who started by taking $1 for aquarium photos at the age of 12, scaling to $120 a night on occasion, saving up thousands by the age of 16 for a real estate license, after failing to get to college and then getting to real estate for some years taking the lowest paying jobs before getting the big deals, then getting into real estate investment, and now YouTube and being an influencer. It beats common sense for him to be the guy to advise folks on how to retire in 10 years. He hasn't retired yet, 20 plus years on the job, and it makes you wonder what will he tell you that will make you wealthy in just 10 years. Graham Stephan now offers tips on everything you need to know about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and how the mother of all bubbles is here. Such predictive and reactive content is not what I knew Graham for. He's running out of all the good content on real personal finance, and he's not only regurgitating old content, but also talking about what everyone else is saying for viewers. After all, his income from YouTube has been going up, and it's all thanks to the thousands of views he keeps getting. And finally, Graham Stephan is now more of an influencer and lifestyle guru. If, and when, He's not talking about and pushing his Hungry Bull app and coffee line. He'll be sharing videos of his new Tesla or asking for advice on what luxury supercar he should buy next. And as you may have seen on other financial channels, he's often out there flashing his wealth and he gives tours of his new mansion. Some of his old fans now consider his content more like brovestment content, precisely what other influencers do. So in many ways, Graham Stephan went from a guy who offered solid financial advice to just another personal finance influencer and YouTuber offering ridiculous and often reckless finance and investment advice. 
Anyone following him may only benefit from watching his older videos, not the new content that he's been dishing out. His life path and things he did early on in life and all that hard work from his early days offer a more realistic advice on scaling up and wealth creation. The new stuff, not so much.